disappointed for our, our, our seniors. Uh, fought hard. Fought hard. And uh, came up a little bit short. I'll take a few questions. Dana. A few sensible questions. <laughs> Defensively, I mean, how, how difficult is that task? Yeah, I've never, I mean, that, I don't, one in five are the, the quickest kids I've ever seen, ever. Quickest, fastest kids. They're special players, they're special talents. You know, I, didn't, I didn't think they could top offensively what they did last year. No, they're, they're, they're pretty good. You know, we did force a couple of turnovers, which kept us in it. Um, you know, as well as we played offensively, giving them 14 points is inexcusable. It's a difference in the game. You know, got two touchdowns taken off the board, which is is just a shame. It's a shame that you know that happens. Uh, don't get it. Don't understand it. Never will. Um, you know, but uh, the, the the 14 points we gave them is a difference. In the game. So the two touchdowns that came off the board, the, the penalties, what, what was your view? Yeah, I mean, obviously i got to be careful with what I say, but uh, I, I don't understand in a game like this how you take those off the board. I don't get it. Like I said, if I don't understand it, I don't get it, I never will. <clears throat> Second half, the Oklahoma State game, offense struggled. Tonight, despite everything they had to deal with during the week after the loss, came in and executed exceptionally well. Can you talk about what they did this week to block out the noise and come in and play the way they did? I mean, I think we're a good offense. We have been all year. You can, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know of too many teams across the country that just play great all the time. I don't know what sport you're watching. But uh, we did score 31 points in the first half. Uh, didn't score enough points in the second half. You understand that. Uh, you know, we didn't even talk about it. We just went to work on Sunday. I was proud of the whole team with the way they attacked this week. And it's a great week. You know, offensively, I mean, we played as good as I've seen. Uh, can't give them 14 points. It's, it's, it's a shame that we played so good on offense and gave them 14 points. But it's probably the way the guys got it. Coach, what's, what's coaching Greer meant to you? I mean, obviously he didn't end up where he wanted it to tonight, but what has he meant to you? Oh, and a lot. I mean, he's, 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 uh, <coughs> he's a special player. And, um, you know, he's, he's left his mark on this program. And we'll be better as a program because of it. I mean, this isn't the end all, end all. I said that in my press conference earlier. I mean, regardless of, of what happened tonight, uh, we didn't make our goal not going to the Big 12 championship. It's a, it's a damn shame. I think I think everybody would understand that we're uh, we're, we're, we're close. You know, I mean, we beat one of them and we almost beat the other one. But uh, you know, with that said, I mean, he's he's a special player. You know, a lot of these guys, I mean, Gary Jennings, David Sills, I mean. A lot of the seniors played their tail off and have left their mark on this program and will be better moving forward because they were, they were part of it. Uh, you know, so they, they, left it, they left it better <coughs> than, than, than it was when they first got here. Proud of all those guys. Dean, what, um, what type of challenges for a coach are involved in a game like this when it's, it's that type of nature, it's frenetic, and how aggressive you have to be when you roll the dice and it, it is considerable. Well, we knew it going into it. I mean, we uh, knew it was going to be this kind of game. Well, there's 40s. I talked about it all week. How many of these games have been in the 40s? All of them. This one happened to be in the 50s. Uh, you know, but, uh, we're, we're, we're used to it. We play like that. We just got to keep playing. The message all week was keep playing. No matter what happens, keep playing. I thought they did a great job of that. Good stuff happened, we just kept playing. Bad stuff happened, we just kept playing. It's the nature of the, it's the nature of the, 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 the way this game is played. Was there any explanation or discussion about the hit on Mark Sims? They said they reviewed targeting and it wasn't targeting. I, I haven't seen it. I mean, he, he got his bell run pretty good. I, I, I didn't see it. So, but they said they reviewed it and it wasn't targeting. Danny, you're used to juggling, but your offensive line had to juggle a great deal. How difficult was that? Yeah, we're not used to juggling like that. You know, Kelby started at right tackle, and we were, you know, 
we, we, we liked the move with Colt in the garden. I thought that was really good early. And then Kelby goes out, and then Yadney goes out. I mean, yeah, it just, you know, you had to, we put probably eight or nine of those guys in there. But for the most part, they played pretty good. Okay, thanks, Bill. All right. Thank you.